back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I am so glad that y'all are joining me today. Today's video is actually a part of an open collaboration with Abby at Rooted in Rest and Jessica from The Walled Up Way. So be sure that you check out the playlist of all these other awesome women um, showing you what their favorite homeschool subject is because I know if you don't get inspiration from me, you will definitely find someone over there that you get lots of inspiration from. Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's a free way that you can support me and it helps so much. Now, who can guess what my favorite homeschool subject is? You guessed it. It's science. No, actually, I would never have pegged me for a science person ever in a million years. That is not something I ever really enjoyed growing up. But thanks to the good and the beautiful and their awesome unit studies, I have definitely become a fan. And my kids are now science kids. We all just love science because they make it so fun. They make the topics really come to life and they do it in such a fun, engaging way that my kids have just really fallen in love with it. And I have too. I really, really enjoy teaching them science. So today I want to share with you guys what we are planning to do for our upcoming school year for science. So this will be kind of my first curriculum haul video. And I want to thank Good and the Beautiful so much for sending me all of this awesome stuff. They are are so generous and so sweet and kind to send me all of this stuff so I can't wait to share it with you guys because these are all their updated unit studies so there's three different ones that I have to show you guys and they've all been updated they're now bound so they're bigger and better and you're just gonna love the way they've done it before I show you that curriculum I want to share with you guys why we love the good and the beautiful science units so much and the first reason is because they're open and go. I don't have to do a lot of planning. I don't have to do a lot of prep. If there's an experiment or something like that, I will have to grab some things ahead of time. But it's literally like food coloring or like a cotton ball. It's like not big and involved. And so I love that it's open and go. It's really easy for us to just do it on the go if we need to. We can take it to the park. We can um, just kind of do it anywhere. And there's not a lot of planning and prep involved. And I love that so much. <laughs> the second thing I really love is that the units are family style. So they're meant to be for grades three through eight. But honestly, my four-year-old does them with us and she absolutely loves them. I've done them with kids who are in kindergarten, first grade, second grade, all the way up to Gabe will be in fifth grade next year. And they have all really, really enjoyed this unit and have gotten a lot out of it. And I really feel like they've retained a good bit of it too. So even my little one, Amy Grace, I will tear out a part of their student journal, make her a copy and let her kind of scribble along with us and do it with us. And she loves it. She loves to do all the experiments, watch the videos. And so I really think that they could be for all ages. So they're very versatile as far as the age groups and the grades that they're meant for. So they really are family style. You can really do it with the whole family and I love that so much. The other thing I really love about it is they're short and concise. They get right to the point. There's not a lot of fluff. I really like that as a homeschool parent. It takes us about 30 minutes, sometimes an hour, depending on if there's like a really long experiment to do the whole entire lesson. And we usually do like two lessons a week. And next year we may move to three lessons a week. I still haven't totally decided on that. But each unit has anywhere from like nine to 15 lessons in it. So you really could do several of them a year. We have been doing, since we only do two a week, we're doing good to get two units done a year but really you could probably do four or even five. So it really just depends on how many days a week that you want to do science and how many lessons that you wanna do each time you do it. But I love that they are just short and concise. Number four, just like all things good and beautiful, they're beautiful and they are fun and they're exciting and the kids love all of the pictures and the graphics and the videos that go along with them and they just make it fun and exciting and the kids really, really enjoy that. The number five thing I love about it is that their science units are biblically based, but it's very 
basic, biblically based. So if you hold old world or new world views, this really will work for either one of those. So I really love that they bring God into even their science units. That's really awesome. Some of our absolute favorite units we've ever done was mammals. That's the first one we ever did. That's probably to this day still our favorite one. It was so good and so uh, fun. The kids loved learning about animals anyway. We loved that one. Then we moved from that to marine biology and the kids really enjoyed that one too. It kind of came right up against a beach trip so that worked out really well. And then the other one that we have done is the paleontology and the kids have really, they really enjoyed that one. They were a little bit kind of out of the dinosaur phase by the time I got to do that one with them. So it would have been fun to do that with younger kids, but I do hope to repeat that one day when my current one-year-old is a little bit older and he will really enjoy that, I know. And then the unit we're doing right now is space science. And that is my number two favorite one we've ever done. Mammals and space science, I feel like, are so good. They're so well done. They're so fun. I love the read-alouds that go along with all of them, too. Definitely be sure you get the read-alouds because they are so fun. And they really tie well into the units that you're learning. Okay, so the new ones. Let me share with you guys the new ones that we got. We got three different ones. I'm hoping to get all three done in this upcoming school year but if we don't I'm not going to stress about it we'll get to them when we get to them I know we can get two done because we've been able to do that every year so far so we can definitely get two done and so the first one I'll show you is birds so I have all the bird stuff I cannot wait to do this one y'all and it's going to work out perfectly with like our co-op and everything here's the unit this is the textbook that you need it has all of the lessons in here so you definitely need this it now comes bound which I love it used all of these units used to come where they were not bound so you would have to take each piece of paper out and put them in the in a folder and although it really wasn't that big of a deal it was a little time consuming and so this is going to make my life a lot easier so i'm very excited that they now come bound they sent me three student journals to go along with this unit so now even my four-year-old emmy grace can participate with us I have often gotten the PDF versions of these and just printed out what I thought the kids would enjoy doing. So we don't always do every single thing in these student journals, just because I do have a first grader and a fourth grader this year. Next year, we'll have a second grader and fifth grader. And so there's some, some things in here that are a little bit too advanced for my first grader. So sometimes I don't print him out all of the lessons in these. So I do like having the PDF because you do have control over what they have in their notebook or what they don't. But if you get these, they're really not much more expensive and that way you don't have to print anything out and it's all already right here for you and they can kind of go through and choose what they wanna do and what they don't wanna do. So that's a good option. And then we got the read alouds that came with them. This is Mission Migration and this one is Songbirds Study. This one's gonna be really cool because it goes in detail about each bird and it talks about how they migrate, like what they eat and their scientific name and just all of that. It even has a sweet little bookmark. So this is gonna be a really fun one to include in our morning time. The read alouds I usually always do during our morning time. And then usually that's also the time where we then go to either our history or our science after we do our little uh, read aloud. And in our morning time, I don't usually do chapter book read alouds. I do more things like this that are really visual for the kids because it just seems to hold their attention a little bit better than chapter books that early in the morning. We also got the fun game that came with this unit. This is called Snatch and it's a birds of prey game. So I think our kids will really enjoy playing this on family game nights and I love they're gonna get a little homeschool in even when we're having family game night. I also had to grab these bird watching notebooks for all of my kiddos because I thought this would be so fun when the weather cools down in the fall and then some in the spring. We can kind of sit and watch the birds and write in our uh, bird watching notebooks, but these are really beautifully done. Um, and they have some really good information in them. They have like feather identification, bird tracks, how to use binoculars, how to make your home bird friendly state bird study, national bird study, birds of prey study, bird of interest study. So 
This is gonna be so fun. I'm really excited to do this. We bought the nature notebooks last year and we're just about finished with those. And those have been so much fun. I'm actually thinking about getting them again. I think we actually may do that with our co-op, but this will take the place of that when we're done with those nature notebooks. And I'm so glad because we had so much fun with those that I'm kind of sad that they're, that they're coming to an end. I also grabbed this nature reader for Gabe next year. He'll be in fifth grade, and I think this is going to be like right on his level. But um, it has uh, some really good stories in here about birds that he can use as his reader for language arts next year. And then I also got this drawing 100 fun and easy birds. And my kids love to draw. I have one in particular that really loves to do things like this where it shows you step by step how to draw something. So I really think this is gonna be so fun for them. They can do this during morning time. Maybe as we do science and I, I'm talking to them about the birds, they can be drawing them or sometimes they like to do stuff like this as I read the Bible and things like that. All right, the next unit study that we are really excited about is weather and water. So my husband, he is air traffic controller, so part of his job is the weather, and he's always talking to the kids about the weather. So they've been interested in this unit for quite a while, and I finally got it, and we're planning to do it next year for sure. So these, the birds and the weather, I know we're definitely getting to. The next one is a hopefully one, but this one we're definitely doing because it's going to be amazing. Talks about introduction to weather, weather and climate and seasons, water and our world, the atmosphere, air, wind, the water cycle, clouds and weather fronts, rain and rainbows, snow, sleet, hail and freezing rain, thunder and lightning, severe weather, weather forecasting, the beauty and power of water. So this is going to be just an awesome unit. I'm really I really can't wait for this one. This is something I've always been really interested in and I'm excited to learn more about. And then of course, I grabbed the student journals for all of the kiddos and these are gonna be really great to have along with that. And then of course, we got the book pack for that one too. And these are so cute. Like you have to get the book pack for this one because they are some really cute ones. This one is Changing Weather, the story of June Bacon Bercy. And I think this one's gonna be just a really good story. We've really been enjoying the books that came along with the space science unit. So I think these are gonna be right along with those as far as being just really interesting to the kids. This one's called Wild Wild Wind. And then this one I'm gonna love to do with them in winter time. This one's the Schoolhouse Blizzard. Okay, last but not least, arthropods. If you have boys in your house, you're gonna find bugs in your house in random containers. I feel like that is a rite of passage as a boy mom. <laughs> so if you're like me and your kids are always finding some kind of random bug to bring to you all the time, you're gonna love arthropods, okay? I am not so much in excited about this one because this mama don't do bugs, okay? But I love my boys and they really wanted to do it. So I said, yes, I gave in. It will be interesting. It will be educational. I'll just get them to read the stuff that creeps me out. <laughs> but this is gonna be a really fun unit. And I love the pictures in this. They're really good because they're like super close up of these tiny little bugs. And they're just gonna, the boys are gonna love this so much. We got the student journals for all three of the kiddos that came along with the arthropods as well. And then we got the book pack. This one has a cute little book called Fiddler Crab. And then it has the boy who loved bugs. And then it came with the story of Maria Marion. And I think these are gonna be perfect for our morning time. Two other little fun add-ons that I got for this unit too is insects and spider mazes. I got this for my pre-K one who will be in pre-k next year but emmy grace she loves to do things like this they're um mazes but all of these are um dry erase so she can easily just do her little maze and then erase it and then do it again the next day or the next time that we're studying the arthropods and i may just put this in her bin for the year and let her just do this like whenever she wants to because all of my kids really love to do mazes like this so this will be fun then one other cute little book i got was the insects 
Alexandrics and Arachnids questions and answers book. I thought this would be really fun for morning time. Every day as we're studying arthropods, I can just open this up and ask them the question for that day. Um, like the first question is, are how are moths and butterflies different? And then it, this just the whole pa this whole page answers that. And then this question is, do butterflies taste with their feet? So this is gonna be a really cute one to add to morning time. I feel like even if you're not doing arthropods, this would be a really fun uh, morning time book just in general. All right guys, so that is my science haul. Thank you so much for sticking around for this. It was so fun to share all of this with you. Be sure that if you are planning to place a order for any of these that you use my link below, that would be awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this video. Be sure that you give this video a thumbs up before you head out and subscribe to my channel if you hadn't already done that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.